Hello everybody, Spider Crusher here, and this is a short tutorial video on how to find top stocks using sector analysis. You can also use this to find the worst stocks in the best sectors, the best stock in the worst sector, or any other combination. Now, when people say this is the best stock in the sector, best is a subjective way of describing something. So I'm going to show you a couple different ways of determining outperformance and how to find the stocks that are outperforming in a quick and expedient way. I thought this would be an interesting analysis to do today because the market is currently correcting and at the moment down 1.83%. So to find out which stocks have done better or worse over this period would certainly be useful information. So there's absolute performance and there's relative performance. I prefer relative performance. Relative performance is if my stock goes down by 1% and your stock goes down by 5%, then even though my stock lost money, it relatively outperformed. So I prefer to look at it that way than saying, hey, just show me stocks that um, you know, are up 10% or something along those lines. Because if in the market all stocks are down 50% hypothetically and yours is only down 3 well then you did a great job in your stock selection process. And that's one of the big challenges is picking the right stocks. So in Telechart, there's a bunch of easy ways to do this type of analysis. One of the easiest is, if this was the peak on the S&P, and this is where we are right now, then I want to find stocks that in this specific time frame have done better than the market. One way to do that is if you go up to the tools, which is slightly out of my record window, but hopefully you can see my mouse, and select custom date sort, then you see that you can, the mouse has now changed into crosshairs and you can measure. This is telling me that we've gone lower by 3.56% since February 18th, which was the peak. And of course, you know, you can kind of play around, but I'm going to do this. So when I click OK, it's going to be scanning my watch list, which is right now the Russell 2000, and automatically changing the order of these stocks to show me which ones have outperformed the most since February 18th. So now what we did is we measured the S&P from the high to today said it had lost about three and a half percent and now I'm comparing this to other stocks over the same period so ASGR apparently went up 47.8 percent from the 18th to today so let's see what that looked like well there you go the stock was bought out at a large premium so you can find top performing stocks this way but you might get a lot of buyouts or extended stocks this isn't a buy up here you know but you're trying to get a sense of what is working the best now, I think a better approach using the same method is to check sectors, not stocks. So that's what we're going to do again. So I'm going to jump back to the S&P 500. You could do the custom date sort off of any stock. It's just, you know, calendar. But I figure it's, it's easier for people to learn if I jump back to the S&P. Do the measurements, OK. It's creating the column where it sorts them. And now what I want to do is change my watch list from Russell 2000 to all industries. So to do that, I hit backslash on my keyboard and start typing uh, groups. Hopefully my spelling is okay. <clears throat> and there we go. Now we have 239 industry items in my watch list. Business equipment, housewares, appliances, electronic equipment. And then once this sorts, it will tell me which ones have done what percentage change since the high in the S&P. So now we can see that out of all the industries in the market, research, long-term care, hospitals, drug-related, this column right here is their return since the S&P topped out. So research services have gone up 11% in the time that the market went down 3.5%. Long-term care facilities went up 9%, so on. So what you can do is now scroll down until you get to the threshold of underperformance. So if the market had gone down 3.5%, Anything that's gone down worse than 3.5% underperformed the market. And conversely, anything that did better outperformed the market. So there's a lot of ways you can generate a better understanding of the market. For one thing, what have I selected as the threshold point? It's the 182nd out of 239 items in the watch list. So actually, there are a lot more stocks that have gone down less than the S&P 500. Industries, excuse me, I said stocks, but I meant industries.